been messing around trying to um, kind of get some new cardistry stuff done uh, for the uh, upcoming review. You all voted, and by you all, I mean one dude. One dude actually just left a comment saying that um, I need to do the bicycle solar flare first. And so I thought it might be cool to kind of get some practice in, make sure that it doesn't look too much like crap. Oh, I was trying to do a, I was trying to do a hundred fan, and it just looked like crap. No. Hmm. Anyway, I like to fiddle with these. That's what cardistry is great for, really, just fiddling. So. I thought what would be a really cool video because I actually mean to respond to like all your guys' uh, comments. They're really greatly appreciated. Um, I don't do this not to get a dialogue going. I definitely do. Uh, I love talking to cool people who are interested in the same things that I am. Uh, it's rare to find anyone who is as interested in all of the crazy things that I'm interested in, if any. I I've been able to make some really cool friends um, just based on making these uh, videos and some people enjoyed them. There were two people from Maryland who knew me from my videos before uh, they became really good. I'd like to say lifelong friends, but we haven't seen each other in a little while. And I really actually just need to get back up there and see them and um, many, many other people. But, till then, let's read some of your comments. So, I don't know how far back I'm going to go. Let's just start with the Terminator. And then if I feel like going even farther back, I will. Alright. This tube is fucked. Yeah, I know. I know. It's YouTube. I understand. Uh, literally wrote um, the quote from I have no mouth and I must scream. Uh, this is where am. It, the only time in the short story really communicates. In the video game, he had a voice and unfortunately, he's a little less ominous when he's being voiced by Harlan Ellison. You know, going, give me the DVD, motherfucker! Give me the goddamn DVD! You know, him flipping out and kvetching does not a ominous, omnipresent, dark, demonic, digital god make. But, in the book, it sort of just communicates by sending monsters after them and torturing them. And I assume if it had a voice, it would be very digital and um, uh, vocoded and synthesized. Um, but at one point, one of the characters gets split off from the main group and he encounters a giant neon sign, it's massive, like a, a skyscraper that Am just made to remind him of how it feels about humanity, and uh, it's a very, a very dark quote, um, it's, it goes as follows, Hate, let me tell you how much I have come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of wafer-thin printed circuits that fill my complex. I don't know why it's Revolver Ocelot, but it is. If the world, and I, we can really get revolvery, if the word hate was engraved on every nanoxtrum of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I fear for humans at this micro-instant. For you, hate, hate. So, really creepy, really classic. Um, this tube is fucked. I'm really glad that you've read that and that you can share my pain, because you have also read that. Someone wrote, uh, Clive Winston wrote, yes, bring back those cheesy opening skits. But, well, I will. I don't know if they're going to get as insane as they were before. I don't know if I have that in me. But we'll see. Ah, speaking of Tolstoy in 2008, does anyone remember when Tolstoy had a theme song? Okay. So the other day I was, I was out on a hike. And uh, I was thinking about the fact that uh, my videos are just really schizophrenic and all over the place. And people don't really know what the theme of me is, and I struggle with that a lot. I mean, it's like, what is he? Does he review action figures? Does he talk about video games? Which I wish I could find a way to do that correctly. I wish... I'm a magician now! Uh, I wish that there was a, a way that I could talk about video games, but not have to use the captured footage. I feel like I could capture the footage if I was really trying to, but then it's like, what do I want to throw my hat into the video game reviewer ring because there isn't enough saturation in that market? But what has that ever stopped me? And I thought about it and I was like, maybe I need like a, a kick-ass theme song to let people know what I'm all about. And I remember the dude who made the theme song goes, uh, he actually does stuff at cons. Uh, he's some kind of recognized cosplayer slash uh, musician, kind of like Brentel Floss, 
and uh, his name was uh, Ruben and the Novelty Shack. And uh, the theme song went, he's a creative guy that gives things a try. He's Tolstoy Kafkaevsky. Damn, dude. How true that is. Noserex says, and by the way, open the Sunspot pack. The, that foil pack is a spicy boy. So, because it is a spicy boy, uh, my next cardistry review will be of... Ooh, that looks so good in that light, boy! Like, the one thing I can actually get for this camera to pick up on... And, one more time, I really need to thank the dude who sent that to me. I think it was originally under the... He was uh, kind of under the agreement that once I started making money again from YouTube, which never happened because the adpocalypse, that uh, I would... By the way, these Dragonbacks, these kick ass. Uh, it was under the impression, he was under the impression that I would eventually send it back to him and just buy my own. And I never did, because I'm an asshole, and I feel like he really hates me, and if, if he's, if, uh, Hank's Ranger, or Hank's Lawnmower Repair, you have changed your name a million times. I remember back when you were Atomic Pyro. You were, like, one of my first subscribers, and I was one of, I'm probably still subscribed to you. I've never even changed that, so, I owe you one, and I'm gonna send you... I'm gonna send you that knife and maybe maybe my new backpack. You wait till you see the review. Let me know if you like it. I still have your. I could text you literally right now, but I'm an asshole. I'm also kind of aloof and I, I do this thing where I just don't talk to people for a long time. But I think about them and I, I, I wish the best for them. I really do mean that. So somebody actually commented also, and I'm not. Even, I don't even know if I'm gonna find. It. They said, "Was this filmed on a potato?" Hey, you're a potato. It's my only HD camera. Shut up. Someone wrote, Tolstoy Kafkaevsky, pure Asperger's on YouTube since 2008. Good to see you still going, buddy. Thanks, man. Thanks. Asperger's! Asperger's for sale! I should do that. I should go to a con with... No, you can't sell food in public. They'll arrest you. You, you don't have a license. You're not free. psycho -bat. Bat! Wrote, my lord, you've returned. I really hope he's like, he's like in shock, like, my lord, you returned, but I know that he might, he's like kind of saying my liege, but my deal is like, I haven't returned, man, I've been making these videos again for like a year, a year now. I just take these long sabbaticals and hope that YouTube gets better and it never does. It's almost like that guy who has like a really bad infection and it's just like, eh, if I just leave it alone, I get the saline rinse on there, I'm sure it'll get better. And then it never does. And then gangrene. Oh, actually, no, someone did vote, uh... To, for me to open that guy, it's that guy, that games, 24, said that uh, I should start by opening up the dragon pack. Well, now it's a tie, and I don't know what to do. Kazlab208 wrote, did you pick up that Kingdom Hearts 3 two days ago? No, I did not, but I do know someone who must have picked that up, and I've been needing to text her and ask her how Kingdom Hearts 3 is. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with Kingdom Hearts. I, I don't know. Um, and I've been growing out of it. Uh, when I was 20, which is like 10 years ago, someone end the suffering. Uh, when I was 20, I was more into that, for whatever reason. And I still don't know what attracted me to it, but... Yeah, they... Square Enix slowly but surely beat that out of me with infinite numbers of spin-offs that just got more and more ridiculous. Um, me and, uh, me and my friends from the, um, that video I made, who the, the ones who just left, uh, we all sat down and tried to watch, like, an explanation of the canonical story up until Kingdom Hearts 3, and, like, all I know is, man, we didn't understand half of it, and we played the games! Like, I, I played Birth by Sleep! You know? And, and when we got to the point where it's like, I'm Xehanort, I'm Xehanort, well, I'm half Xehanort! We were just like, done, 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 done. So, I don't know. I'm not sure how she's enjoying it. I don't have money to spend on brand new games. Uh, Far Cry 5 was the decision that I made because it was $30, and that is the appropriate price for video games in this modern market. Okay? You know what I mean? And, and, and if they need to make games less graphically capable, you know, with less shiny in it, in order to produce these games at thirty dollars, that's fine by me. I don't care, but they pump them out at sixty, and that's not for me. Some six tannic uh, said bicycle dragon first, so that's two for the dragon. Uh, then he also says, "Please, Dad, listen, man, I don't want this to get kinky." <laughs> like no, please no. Ah, uh, Ian Kelts wrote, "Yes, more plastic crap, my lifeblood." All right, man, so is that maybe the God Emperor, and how many psychers a day do we sacrifice to keep the autism gates open, man? YouTube's the autism gates. No, 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 YouTube is Horus. 
Who's that? Who's the lady who's like the CEO of YouTube? She's Horace, man. Like I hesitated for a moment because I was the, I was the leader of YouTube. If you didn't know, I mean, it's either that or Shane Dawson. Oh wait, he's old now. Who was the one that poked the Japanese corpse? Uh, the freaking Logan Paul. Uh, whatever. Okay, so that was cool. Uh, we got some more time. Let us go back to my video, Farewell Friends. Um, everybody thought that I was taking another sabbatical. Nobody just assumed that I had friends. Thanks, man. That's rough. That's rough, guys. I like the one dude who was like, if you're gonna go, just go. Don't ever come back. And I'm like, man, damn, you feel strongly about Tolstoy leaving. I'm just gonna skip past all the stuff that's like, please don't leave, because like, that's cool, and it's well, you know, I, I love your guys' love, obviously. I kind of miss the hate a little bit, you know? Um, I was hiking today, and I was all like, there's no trolls left. The only people left are people who just really like me. And I'm sad, you know? I, I need some verbal abuse every so often, man, just to, you know? I actually used to, um, there's a group of friends that I used to chill with, and uh, we'd all go out to the bar, right? So, you, you know, you text everybody, but there was one guy. And um, his name was Ricky. And... Ricky would not respond to the first text, the second text, the third text of uh, Ricky, you coming out? We're all going out. Come on, man. Let's go get some let's go get some beers, man. We're we're gonna meet here. Ricky, you coming out? But this one friend knew what re was required to get Ricky into the game. And for whatever reason, it was verbal abuse. So I think the fit text that really broke me was Ricky, you cum guzzling slut, we're going out. <laughs> Do you want to come? And then he just texts back, like, within a few minutes, yeah, man, let me get my coat, or some shit like that, you know what I mean? And it's like, what? Uh, someone named Random15 wrote, I miss my kids. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Okay, um, Six Tanic again wrote, man, I'd love to smoke a joint and have a beer or two with you. Well, you shouldn't smoke a joint, because it's, um, it's illegal, because, uh, it's a gateway drug. Anyway, um, I've been watching you since about 2014. I'm really sorry. Uh, you've genuinely been my favorite YouTuber. Keep it up, my dude. Uh, Just Soda wrote, Oh my god, today I found one of the most nostalgic YouTube videos of my life. Your Halo Plasma Rifle review. So those little crappy Halo laser tag um, videos? Um, that almost broke me a million views. That was 800,000, 850,000, something like that. Back when YouTube wasn't rigged. So I was able to get views like that, and I didn't get them every time, and I understood, but I could routinely pull, like, 13 into the tens of thousands, and I was happy with that. Um, unfortunately, though, those were also really cringy videos, and I guess I have to realize that a lot of those views were probably people coming to hate on me, but again... Maybe I'm like Ricky. I remember watching this as a kid, and I loved your enthusiasm and your energy, so I decided to see if you're still active on here, because you would generally be a YouTuber I'd watch, and I see here you are. Uh, but I was sad to see the title, and just a day ago, you're saying farewells. Keep doing what you do. There's so many people who enjoy your content. Much love. Then he read the description and realized I wasn't leaving. Someone wrote, uh, named Nature Nerd 1000 This tends to be a dude who actually comments on my, uh, outdoor reviews, so... I know you. See, I know some of you people. I start to, like, know you. I read all your stuff. Uh, he wrote, would recommend to get a Switch. Best games of this generation. No. No, they're not. I, I, I cannot disagree with you more. I love you, bud, but no. I, Nintendo is dead to me, and I love Pokemon. Loved. Pokemon's pretty much dead to me, too. Hey, the Pokeball kind of, like, fits in that little area on my desk. Fuck yeah. Someone named Dead Boys 2. Two dead boys in the middle of the night, both got up to have a fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their swords, and shot one another. That's a weird old reference. It's not even that old. I think the movie's like 10 years old. Fuck. He wrote, I definitely need to make you a knife one day and just send it to you so you can just have some cool custom knife, ni custom knife ass kickery content. Plus, I love seeing my stuff on my favorite YouTube channels when that happens. Yes, send me a knife. You go at you. If you feel like sending me stuff, money, hookers, blackjack. Well, Forget the knife. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, send it to me. I don't know if I told this story, but that's a that's a reference to the Futurama episode where Bender is on the moon and there's like a theme park and they lock him out of the theme park because he's Bender, and he says something like, "Well, then I'll start my own theme park with blackjack and hookers." Then he goes, "Oh well, forget the theme park anyway." So I was at Otakon in uh, 2018 and we were going up an escalator 
And I don't remember what prompted me to say this, but out loud I just kind of shouted, well then I'll start my own anime convention with Blackjack and Hookers! Well, forget the anime anyway. <laughs> and like, two anime girls were passing by me and the look on their face of just... of seeing, you know, such degeneracy was wonderful. So I like um, one dude, um, Muluga. He um, said that he would like to have a drink with Tolstoy, and uh, I straight up was like, dude, pledge $500 on Patreon and drive to North Carolina, and we'll get trashed. And he's like, well, I live in Charleston, South Carolina. And I'm like, it's honestly not that far. I, I drive pretty far to get some of these to get to get some of these parks, and apparently uh, Charleston is like, big on that South, you know, that Southern food, and getting drunk on whiskey. Uh, they got a lot of bars there, and apparently it's like a really classic Southern town. So, uh, pledge $500 on Patreon, and I will get shit-faced with you in a bar, and then we'll fight in the parking lot, and then we'll start a club. Maybe call it Fight Club, and it'll be about toxic masculinity. I'm working on my dribble. Check that shit out. You have no idea how much harder that is than doing the much more impressively looking, you know, flourish, but... Ah, uh, maybe check one more video back. Maybe a couple, because the second one, second to last one was Eno River Part 2, and uh, nobody cared about my outdoor stuff, so... Somebody named Lex Shiflet said, Hey, I live in Baltimore, and I hike and camp. Alright, man, look, I used to live in Maryland, and I wasn't too far from your location. You should've come out to Otakon, man! You could've had beer with Tolstoy for $500 on my Patreon that didn't exist yet. Maryland has, like, a, a really cool subtropical climate, and it has a lot of biodiversity and like, its trees and fauna and whatnot. Uh, however, uh, no mountains, man. And I know you can be like, well, West Virginia's right next door, but, you know, I don't even know what the highest mountain in West Virginia is. Um, I only hiked there, like, a couple of times. Uh, I really miss it and would like to go back. I have some really fond memories right before leaving for North Carolina, um, of hiking in West Virginia, uh, right up to going to Otakon, saying goodbye to all my friends. Still getting drunk. Someone named Hal Firewolf said, Woo, that came out fast. I don't know who the hell that is. So, uh, let's see. Fishing at Eno River State Park. Someone by the code name of Fetus the Destroyer. Sounds like the end of Earth Mother. It's always great to see you enjoy Mother Nature, Tolstoy. Just don't forget about us on your next adventure. Much love from a longtime fan. Thanks. Clive Winston. I'm not an expert uh, fisherman by any means, but I think your bait may be a little big for what would live in that small stream. Yeah, you're probably right. I would like to take that advice, and by the way, thank you for the advice. I really like it when people comment tips and tricks on the things that I'm interested in, because I learn by fucking up, and it also helps when somebody lets me in on something that I might be doing wrong. Someone named Matt S. wrote, Tolstoy, you gotta review that denim jacket. I will let you have you know that, uh... I have received more compliments from the opposite sex. It's like seven different women, in apropos of nothing, have like just stopped me. I mean, like it was a there was a lady soldier who stopped me and was like, "You look good in that fucking, you know, in that denim jacket." And like the camera just pans and I have a staple gun. I'm like, uh huh, uh huh, and you know, just stapling it to my to my form. Let's see, 21 minutes. All right, Crash Bandicoot fig. Let's do it. 31 comments on the Crash Bandicoot fig, so this might actually have some more entertaining stuff for me to talk about. Clive Winston says, Every time I get a notification for a new Tolstoy video, I get a little hot with a winky face. Listen, man. If you're a beautiful woman, contact me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't do that. Then someone down below, Psycha Blyat, wrote, Tolstoy uploads a video? This makes my iron the big iron. No. Someone named Dalator, 1998, wrote, I've been watching you from the very beginning, and yes, you do make me hot, to be honest. Are you a sexy woman? Please. <laughs> Alright, so that's probably all I'm going to do for today. It's going to be rough having to go back and, like, screen capture all that crap, but I'll have to do it. Thanks for tuning in. If you've learned anything from this, I hope you learned that uh, I do read your comments, I enjoy reading your comments, and if you comment more, I will read them on air for a whole five people to see. And I don't know too much about the interwebs, but five people sounds like a lot of people. So, go ahead. Comment away.